Nodes can be pretty difficult and complex, especially if you're new to them. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. We're taking a look at a couple of the texture nodes, actually one of the texture nodes specifically in uh, in Blender today. I got a couple comments uh, saying a lot of people were having difficult times with nodes, so I figure um, we should start doing some node-specific tutorials. We're going to be taking a look at the texture nodes uh, today, and specifically the noise texture. I have this really cool, uh, like, knot thing hooked up over here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hit Add and go to Texture and grab this node texture and just plop that down right there. If we hook this into the diffuse of our uh, object over here, I'm just going to call it our object, um, we'll, we'll get this really weird rainbow-like pastel texture. And this is this is what noise texture does. Um, and if I if I change the scale, you should be able to see that the lower the, the number I go, the bigger the colors get, and the smaller, the bigger the number I go, the smaller the... Uh, rainbow like colors will get this is pretty much just creating like a noise map on top of our uh, object and since we hooked this into the views pretty much what this is saying is this this noise texture we want to put the color into the orange color so it got rid of the orange color and replaced it with the noise textures color that's pretty much what that just did if we hook this into the roughness it won't do much but what we what we can do here is I can grab instead of a diffuse texture I can go shift a and I can add in a um, I can add in a, a glossy, a glossy uh, shader, and I hook that up in place of the diffuse. So I pretty much we pretty much just replace that, and I'll change that to a similar color. Um, and if I hook this into the uh, roughness, you should be able to see that these pieces. Is, this is really cool, by the way. Um, these pieces of the noise texture that we were seeing earlier, like this, these these rainbow like pastel colors they're actually defining the shine of the object so with some of the pieces where those noise textures are it's actually getting rid of the shine which is really really handy um for you know doing rust because sometimes you know the the uh, re reflectivity of them is, is wearing off and it's really really nice um so it's getting less less and less shiny because it's getting old or whatever so the bigger we go with this you'll be able to see we can make like rain puddles with this this is great um and if I turn up the, the detail, of course, the detail, it gets more sharp and more clear. So if we turn that on, if I put this back into the color so you can see a bit better, and, and turn the scale down, turn the scale up to like 20 or so, um, the distortion, of course, as you can see, we have these, pr they're pretty much circle-like, the, the little noise colors, right? They're pretty much circle-like, but if we turn this up to like 5, 5, we'll get this really weird oily, kind of swiggly, it, it, it looks like oil, if you see oil on the, on the street, like at the gas station or something like that, it really does look like oil, so we have this really nice uh, ability to kind of do some really weird, crazy things, uh, like, I said, like I said, if I hook this up into the roughness, then we get those shiny pieces only on where, only on the areas where the noise texture was actually at. Um, so this is a really, really handy node, and if we hook this into, if we hook back up the diffuse texture and get rid of that, that glossy, if we hook back up the diffuse, um, but we want our, we want our, uh, our color to remain orange, like, we want it to be like that, um, and we, we still want the noise texture to, to be on the object. The way we can do this is if I turn this down a little bit, because that's a bit much, if, if we, if we put this noise texture into the displacement, you can see that we now have some really weird, awesome bump mapping going on here. And this is pretty much just making the object bumpy with a noise, with, with noise textures, pretty much. Um, so if I turn the scale down, once again, you can see we have uh, bigger, that's maybe a little bit too small, uh, if we go 5, you see we have, we have the bigger, less, you know, rough uh, kind of texture. It's just very faint, but if I turn this up to like 50, it'll be a really crazy, insane kind of, uh, like, chalk like almost i suppose and then the detail of course that like i said that defines the amount of clarity so if i turn this down to like zero you, sh you should see that it's much more smooth like sand i guess and then the detail if i turn it up to like 40 you'll see it gets really really harsh really really crisp and clean and the distortion once again as well we can do some really cool effects with that as well so uh, that is pretty much it for the noise uh, texture. Um, that's uh, one of my favorite textures uh, you can use in Blender. It does a lot of unique stuff, and it's definitely like a base for me uh, when I'm doing texture texturing in, uh, in Blender. It's definitely like a base to add things on afterwards. So that is that for the noise texture node in Blender. I hope you guys learned something new today. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye.